just quick video. Um, I'm, so I got the uh, spoke shave today at work. So I've been working at this axe for a bit here. Uh, spoke shave is only like $14 on Amazon, $14 Canadian. It seems to work. I'm slowly bringing this guy down. Take it a little bit more, uh, get a little thinner, and then you grab some linseed oil and treat it. And there's gonna be quite a bit of sanding that. I'm not very good with one of these spoke shaves, but it's coming. It's a learning process. So using the uh, spoke shave is a little tricky. Uh, starting to get the hang of it because you're only supposed to draw it or pull it and push it. Sometimes it binds up. I don't know if that's good, but that's just me. I don't think it's good for doing curves. I think that's the problem here. Like I said, it's a learning process. There's quite a bit of sanding to do. Get the device right. But anyways, it's definitely getting thinner to where I want it. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a little more shaping, and then I'm gonna start sanding it because that's feeling a lot, a hell of a lot nice, nicer. Okay, let's talk to you in a bit. So that's all the material I've taken off with the spoke shave. Now it's just sanding, so I'll catch up to you guys in a bit. So it's all sanded. Uh, now it's, this, this actually has pretty nice green in it. Uh, it's all sanded. I'm just gonna put some linseed oil on it and let it sit and it should be good to go. Okay, everyone, I got some linseed oil on it. Um, looks not too bad. I mean, this is the first time I've ever reprofiled an axe, but it's a lot better than it was because it was way, way too thick up here. It, I have big hands, but it felt uncomfortable. Uh, it feels really nice now. Um, it's not a perfect job. I I won't lie, I'm not a carpenter. I work with metal, but uh, this is the first go around and I'm actually fucking dirty from work. Uh, brown noser today, I guess. It's for my coffee cup. It's dirty on top, but anyways. Um, but yeah, for the first time doing one, I'm pleased with it. Will I do another one? Yeah, but I'm probably gonna watch a few more YouTube videos on wood finishing, like the axe handles before I do it, because I think this could have been better, but like I said, I'm quite pleased with it. It's a lot nicer than it was. I think next time, if I ever do one, I can get uh, Dutch oil, because I hear it's a little darker. This, this piece of wood actually has a really nice green in it. Anyways, YouTube, uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video series. It's kind of spotty, because I'm just after work and just trying to get things done. But uh, yeah, hope everyone's having a good day. Talk to you later.